Hey, it's Josh, and I am in the airport in Las Vegas after spending a super fun week here. And they say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but I'm gonna show you all the highlights of everything I got up to right now. So during my week in Vegas, I stayed at three different hotels. The first one was the Cosmopolitan, which was amazing. And that's where I met up with my friend, Andy V. He's who I spent the week with in Vegas. He is a, a day travel writer and we met in Palm Springs. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. But I love my suite. I wanted to live in that suite, but we had to head out to go have our first meal, which was at Haleo, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, we had the chef's tasting menu, so good. These little potato things you're supposed to lightly open up for dipping, I like dismantled mine. But wow, we ate so much food and it was all so good. If you wanna eat well, you will find that in spades in Las Vegas. Seriously, it was so delicious. The next day, we started off the day by going to the Sarah Spa and Hammam, where I had a great massage, followed by a hammam treatment, which I've never had before, but they lay you down on this big table and scrub you down and bathe you and just like rejuvenate your body. Oh, it was amazing. Uh, then we headed off for lunch to DOCG, where there was, of course, lots of delicious, fresh food. I mean, the calories I consumed on this trip is nuts but I gotta say, it was so worth it. Uh, we went off and checked out the strip for the afternoon, and then we headed back into the hotel to Cleek to have some drinks, where the bartender actually came to our table, made us these really fancy cocktails that were delicious, and then we headed off the strip, kind of into the suburbs a bit, to Andiron to try their dinner, because apparently Mariah Carey likes to eat there, and we can see why. Wow, the food was delicious, and there was just so much of it. But I was gonna worry about the calories after the trip. <laughs> uh, the next morning, we thought, why not eat some more? Because we haven't done enough of that yet. So let's go to Wicked Spoon, the huge buffet in Cosmopolitan, and uh, try to have everything, which is completely impossible. But wow, so much food, so little time. Then we headed off to The Palms, our second hotel, where uh, we had this big, beautiful suite that had a very strategically placed bathtub. <laughs> I don't know, that was interesting. And then they took us on a tour of a couple of their really impressive suites, like this one that has its own private basketball court, which is perfect for the sports pro that I clearly am. Uh, and then to like the King Daddy suite of the mall, uh, this one that has this huge balcony that has its own private infinity pool, like what? And then dinner at Nine Steakhouse, where um, the food just was incredible. I had this delicious spicy chicken, and Andy had this uh, very high-end Kobe beef. And then back onto the strip, because we were gonna go see Jennifer Lopez. She gave us all she had in her show, and man, was it good. We were so excited for it, and she did not disappoint. That woman can move, she can sing, she was so entertaining, so good, and her dancers were so sexy. We enjoyed the show from start to finish. The next morning we had to go get some food at 24 seven back in the palms, uh, delicious breakfast, and of course you gotta have dessert with every meal because again, worry about the calories later. Uh, check out the pool, because every day it's sunny and warm in Las Vegas, kind of crazy. And then there's a Cafe Six right at the pool, so we went to have a bit of a lighter lunch, uh, delicious summery freshness, and um, then you gotta do a bit of gambling in Vegas, right? So I won $21, figured that was a good place to stop. We went to Social Bar for some drinks in the middle of the hotel. Uh, look at that, marshmallows in my drink, like. <laughs> Seriously, when in Vegas, I guess. Uh, and then I headed upstairs at the Palms for a fancy dinner where I had like an entire fish and we had these little dessert portions and everything was so good. And then we went to Ghost Bar to dance off some of those calories and we ran into Julie Vu, my friend who is a big YouTuber here in Vancouver as well. She happened to be there at the same time. So that was really cool. The next day we had the buffet in the hotel because of course in Vegas, you gotta have buffets, right? So good, and by now I was starting to get full, so I wasn't overdoing it. And then our third hotel was the Palazzo, which was impressive to say the least. What a grand, beautiful hotel. I loved my suite. They gave me um, a little fruit tray and uh, some champagne. Oh my gosh, so good. And then headed over to Buddy V's for lunch, which I think is on the Venetian side. They're sort of connected. And we had uh, such good food. And then after we consumed all that food, had to go check out the gondola. Yeah, in the hotel, there is a gondola ride. Like, where can you go in a 
canal in your hotel other than in Las Vegas. So cool. Uh, then we headed off to the House of Blues that evening to go to the foundation room where we had this like little secluded area, a great atmosphere, had some drinks, had some food. So cool. And then from there headed off to the wind because we had to go see another show. Of course in Vegas, you gotta see the shows. So this one we went to see Showstoppers, which was cheeserific. I mean, it was really good. Like the, the entertainment here, the talent is incredible. And this one, the audience was full of seniors and gay guys, go figure. But we were <laughs> pretty impressed. And then we went to Jardin for dinner, which has a great atmosphere. I love that place. And uh, the drink, like this drink had real edible flowers in it. That's kind of cool. So we had uh, seafood and I tried octopus for the first time and it was quite tasty, I gotta say. Um, you know, we just gorged on food as we do at all, uh, all these restaurants. And look at that flower pot, that was dessert. The entire thing was edible, including the flowers. So cool. So the next day I headed downtown by myself to have lunch at the park on Fremont. Um, I had uh, a drink on the patio and just enjoyed the downtown area and walked further down Fremont Street to go check out the container park. So this is like this big outdoor area with shops and restaurants and all kinds of stuff. And it's mostly made out of actual like shipping containers. It's such a cool concept and they have this big playground area, which after 9 p.m. is adult only. So that's pretty cool. You know I had to check out one of these big slides myself being the big kid that I am. Uh, so that was really fun. And then I went into a shop, I tried out the jerky in this place. Jojo's Jerky, they have turkey jerky, even vegan jerky made out of cactus. That is so cool. Uh, and then back to the hotel to Carne Vino for dinner, a very fancy high-end, amazing dinner with sophisticated wine pairings and all kinds of incredible food. Wow, I just, I don't know how I'm gonna ever eat normal again after this trip. Look at this, delicious. <laughs> and then uh, after having some dessert wine and dessert, we headed back in presidential limousine. They were getting us to and from everywhere in style. We went to New York, New York to see Zumanity. When you're in Las Vegas, of course, you have to see a Cirque du Soleil show. And this one was sexy. It was incredible. It was funny. I mean, it just had everything you would expect from a Cirque du Soleil show and then some. And then we headed off to the Cromwell to go to the nightclub upstairs there, Dre's. And wow, what a club. I mean, like everything in Vegas, it was kind of larger than life. It was just a sight to behold. But we couldn't stay too late because the next day I had to head down to the Mirage so that I could go to the spa. <laughs> Spend a little bit of time in the spa, naked, because I was by myself, so why not? And then go do yoga. So we headed down uh, to where the dolphins are and on one side we would do yoga and on the other side the dolphins would do their thing. Um, so, you know, doing yoga first thing in the morning, that's a pretty good way to start your day, why not? And then it was time for some more food, of course. So back to our hotel to Yardbird where we had a uh, delicious brunch, chicken and waffles and watermelon and dessert and then hey let's go to the pool because there's an incredible pool at this hotel go to the fitness center there's a couple of those and then head down to the Bellagio that evening for our final meal at harvest well, it was so good look at that fancy drink and uh, the, the portions here weren't huge but wow were they ever high quality and dessert tray dangerous dangerously delicious. We took a couple of those lollipops back to Planet Hollywood with us because it was time for the Britney show. Finishing off our trip with a bang. Piece of me and it was so good. So britney rific as you would expect. Um, all of her hits, lots of dancing, the crowd loved it. It was just so much fun. A uh, great way to end off our trip. Um, but then you know the curtain closed on her show and on my vacation in Vegas. And that was my super fun week in Vegas. If you're looking for an exciting holiday, definitely check this place out. I, of course, just barely scratched the surface on everything that's available here. I'll put links to every place that I went in the description below and come back next week because I'm gonna have a behind the scenes look at the costumes and wigs at Zoomanity. So if you're new, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you on Tuesday with a viral video review. Bye.